July 20th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 75 and 76 from the Old Testament. We give thanks to you, O God, we give thanks. You reveal your presence, people tell about your amazing deeds. God says, At the appointed times I judge fairly. When the earth and all its inhabitants dissolve in fear, I make its pillars secure. Selah. I say to the proud, do not be proud, and to the wicked, do not be so confident of victory. Do not be so certain you have won, do not speak with your head held so high, for victory does not come from the east or west or from the wilderness, for God is the judge. He brings one down and exalts another, for the Lord holds in his hand a cup full of foaming wine mixed with spices and pours it out. Surely all the wicked of the earth will slurp it up and drink it to its very last drop. As for me, I will continually tell what you have done. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. God says, I will bring down all the power of the wicked. The godly will be victorious. God has revealed himself in Judah. In Israel, his reputation is great. He lives in Salem. He dwells in Zion. There he shattered the arrows, the shield, the sword, and the rest of the weapons of war. Selah. You shine brightly and reveal your majesty as you descend from the hills where you killed your prey. The brave-hearted were plundered. They fell asleep. All the warriors were helpless. At the sound of your battle cry, O God of Jacob, both rider and horse fell asleep. You are awesome. Yes, you who can withstand your intense anger? From heaven you announced what their punishment would be. The earth was afraid and silent. When God arose to execute judgment and to deliver all the oppressed of the earth. Selah. Certainly your angry judgment upon men will bring you praise. You, re you reveal your anger in full measure. Make vows to the Lord your God and repay them. Let all those who surround him bring tribute to the awesome one. He humbles princes. The kings of the earth regard him as awesome. God, we have so much to be thankful for today. You overwhelm us with blessings. Not just the basic ones, and by basic I don't mean they're basic at all, but the fact that we got up this morning and we're breathing and we have food and we have a roof over our heads and we have electricity. We are so spoiled with your blessings. You know, there's even days where I talk to people about, gosh, I wish, gosh, I wish sometimes that God would just take away all these blessings. Because sometimes I think they get in the way of my worshiping of you, God. That I get sidetracked and pulled back down to the worldly things. The things in my house, the things I do with my friends, how I decorate my house, the clothes I wear. Eventually, sometimes all these amazing blessings, we start to take them for granted and then they become idols in our own lives. God, today I just thank you for... What a blessing I have. I have an amazing sister who has always supported and encouraged and prayed for me. I have a beautiful mom who is trying to figure out what her heart looks like, especially in relationship to you. I have amazing friends. I have one best friend who supports and encourages me like no one in my life ever has. She only wants what is best for me and reminds me a lot of, obviously, what you want in my life. I have other people in my life who raise me up to be a better Christian woman, who help guide my steps and discipline me when I get off track. God, it's such a blessing to have a business with all the flexibility it does to do what I can do. And maneuver around in a mission field around that type of flexible work schedule. God, I'm so thankful for my new friends that you brought into my life. Who have helped me grow tremendously in just the last couple months that, that he has been in my life. 
God, I know that we don't do anything to deserve all of the incredible blessings that you give us, the attention, the affection, the love, definitely the forgiveness. I will never understand that level of love, but God, I do pray for everyone listening to the video right now that they feel your love, that they know that you love them, that you love them in a way that we can't even begin to understand because it's nothing like the worldly love that we have for each other. God, you created us. You watch over us. You give us incredible grace. And then on top of it, you give us all these amazing blessings to live here in our temporary world. On our way to the biggest blessing of all, which is to spend eternity worshiping you. God, I will never be able to thank you enough for all that you've given me. But I pray that throughout every moment of my day today that I just remember that everything I have is yours. Without you, I would have nothing. In your son's name I pray. Amen.